Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you've not already done so, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, get notified when our new videos come out, uh, and check back often. Today, I want to show you how to use the 8800 series phone and this numeric only keypad to actually be able to do plus E164 dialing, right, plus and then the phone number, as well as SIP URI dialing, which as you know, is alphanumeric. Get ready to do some dialing and we'll jump right into it. First, I want to show you how to dial plus E164 numbers. This is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, you simply look at the keypad, you'll notice the asterisk key here at the bottom. There's also a plus on the keypad, so we can press it and hold it. You'll notice that the asterisk changes from a uh, or changes from an asterisk to a plus when you press and hold. You can then dial the number. So I'm going to dial George Washington's fake number in my lab here. Dial. And then the phone rings on, uh, or George Washington's phone rings. So we'll end that call. The nice thing about Plus E164 is Unified Communications Manager does support Plus E164 directory numbers. So if you have your end user's phones defined as a Plus E164 number, um, you know, you're already built out for it. You have to manipulate the calls in and out to ensure that they match that pattern, uh, and away you go pretty good way to build your dial plan. The next option for dialing is SIP URI dialing. Now SIP URIs are alphanumeric rather than just numeric like typical phone numbers. So uh, with the number pad only, it will be a little bit of a tedious process, but it can be done. Typically a touch screen video endpoint would better suit the needs there and give you more flexibility. Uh, but either way, you can still do it. The easiest way that I've found is probably to use the speaker button phone will go off hook and you can start dialing. Now we'll scroll over until we see the ABC button. The dial tone will actually go away since it is definitely going to be a SIP uh, URI call at this point. And then we can use the number pad to start typing in our SIP URI. Now I'm going to dial George Washington, so it's a pretty lengthy SIP URI, uh, but here we go. If you have some type of punctuation, a dash or so forth, you want to look at where that might be. Uh, in this case, a dot would be under number one. The at symbol also is going to be under the one key. Ultimately, once we have this full SIP URI typed in, we hit the call button. And you can hear the phone right next to this phone is ringing with a call coming in. Hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, if you think that is a lot of hunting and pecking as far as dialing goes, you may want to consider using Jabber for its phone control functionality where you can actually use you, the keyboard on your computer to type SIP your eyes, to look up individuals inside your corporation from the directory. You can also um, you know, use your contacts in Outlook to do some dialing. Uh, and I'll have another video on that that you're welcome to check out. Uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.